everybody welcome back to the cabin sitting on the porch the sun just went behind that hemlock tree behind me unfortunately it was actually quite nice here it's uh, February I think it's February 5th today it's uh, Tuesday Cali how come you always have to breathe in the camera when I'm filming it's February 5th today and uh, temperature just dropped back down again we got a really warm spell over the last few days had a little bit of drizzle hardly any here actually but down south of here apparently they got tons of rain um Kelly squirrel over here squirrels are actually running all over the place the red squirrels so Kelly's having a fun time chasing those um anyway it's it's dropping back down pretty rapidly a cold north wind's coming in right now and it's uh it's about minus 18 with the wind chill celsius uh, so that's zero Fahrenheit I think the ambient temperature is getting close to that as well without the wind so back to winter I guess that's that uh, January thaw that I said we weren't going to get <laughs> so we got it the first few days of February instead so I'm back I think for the next few days working inside again but it looks of it it's just, uh, getting uh, snowy again tonight as well um, so I was thinking I was going to get back to the sauna now that everything's melted off or some of the snow has melted off the logs but no I think I'll work inside so I'm just finishing up these spindles for the railing upstairs um, I was thinking about a couple of things so when I was in town taking the uh, or uploading the video lost a couple of videos heard that song by Tim McGraw always stay humble and kind So I was heading back to uh, the cabin here. I'm uploading a video. I had the country radio station on. I listened. Some a couple of people actually asked me this week. I guess from uh, listening to my last one of my last videos where I had Steve Earle playing in the background when I was um, filming me going into town. So what I said is that I listened to just about everything from classical to country, folk, uh, new age, or whatever you call it, alternative. I guess it's called. Uh, rock classic rock pretty well anything except for rap and a couple of uh like electronic music I'm not into that obviously or not obviously but as you would probably expect uh, anyway listening to country music station and uh, tim mcgraw's song um, always stay humble and kind I guess partially because I'm getting older, but I think I've always been this way. I've always felt that kindness and uh, and uh, controlling ego, like not being egotistical, I find some of the higher to be some of the higher traits. Um, I know when I'm watching a movie, I'm a bit of a softy. I got. I have to admit, I'm, I'm a bit emotional. Um, but the so the the uh, types of movies that get to me are the ones about um, you know somebody doing something kind, some for somebody the unexpected. So somebody that you wouldn't expect to do something kind. They look like a you know real hard ass or something, a tough guy or or uh, you know um, uh, really focused businessman or something like that or you know Scrooge, whatever. I guess that's a good example, Scrooge. So a guy that's not focused on typically helping people and then at the end of the movie ends up helping somebody. That's the kind of movie that uh, kind of gets to me. And that's the way I feel. And I think I get a lot of that from my father. He's a very uh, compassionate guy. and uh, Just uh, you know, tries to be kind and, and empathetic and sympathetic. As that, That's what he leads with rather than ego and, and uh, you know, posturing. Which I've mentioned here on the channel or on the other channel a couple of times in the past. Um, but the other part of that is the thing that I find the most irritating, especially with YouTubers, is arrogance. And I see, um, I, I hate harping at all or talking at all about the negativity or about the negative comments or the, the thumbs down, but it, it just. It doesn't bother me, and I, I keep saying that. I keep getting a ton of comments saying, don't let it bother you. Well, I honestly don't let it bother me, but I find it interesting. That's why I comment on it, because I, I think I'm just a student of human nature. I like to study human nature. I like to understand why people do things. And um, 
what you probably don't know is that a lot of the thumbs down are from people that you probably watch that are in the similar genre and they're they don't like that my videos got Kelly here in my mouth again like usual um, I don't like that my videos get higher views than them and uh, again that's not my ego that's just just a fact uh, I know for sure that a lot of those people are thumbs downing my videos because they've made negative comments that end up going into the spam folder for whatever reason typically or that I've actually filtered and blocked them because I don't want to hear from their neg negativity I've talked in the past also about cutting negative people out of my life toxic people and that includes uh, people that just come on the YouTube channel and do nothing but make negative comments so that is the lack of kindness for one thing but um, it's it it sounds arrogant me actually saying this but the thing that turns me off from their channels when I've tried to watch them in the past is the arrogance you see these these uh, people come up from um, or start uh, getting popularity or getting popular on YouTube and their videos um, get a lot of views or they get a couple of videos that get a lot of views and then their subscriber base grows and then they're but their views start dropping off dramatically and their uh, subscribers stop growing at the same pace and they're confused and they wonder why and then they come over and see that my channel's still growing and they wonder why that is and they get upset about it which I understand um, but the thing that I've noticed about those people the ones that are going through that or that are working really hard at this and or any social media and having a really hard time growing the thing that irritates me most about their channels is their personalities and their arrogance. So they get this confidence that um, maybe they didn't have at all in other aspects of their life, where they get this confidence from in the, specifically in this in this uh, uh, platform on this platform, and it starts to come out in their tone and in their content, and and uh, it's abrasive. I think that arrogance is one of those traits that universally people find offensive and irritating for a couple reasons one is that we all have insecurities and I've mentioned my insecurities many times in the past and when somebody looks like they're sort of lording their success over you or they're um, acting like they think they're better than you then uh, it's a it's a turn off it makes us feel more insecure so therefore we tend to dislike those people and I like I said I see more and more of this happening on social media from these people that are trying to either make a career of this or they're doing you know or they're promoting a business through this platform whatever um, and the arrogance is so upfront and their ego is so upfront that they um, uh, end up offending people and therefore their their uh, views and their social media accounts uh, nosedive uh, I've seen that right from the beginning when I first started doing this some of the people that I used to follow and that um, I even met a couple of them and I see their their popularity waning and, and I like I said I can barely watch them myself so I can understand why people who don't know them aren't watching them so that's why I say always stay humble and kind it doesn't matter what you are successful at in life it's sort of irrelevant yes my channels are growing still I'm getting good views and um, people are very kind uh, giving me praise for what I'm doing and stuff but that's one tiny aspect of life. There's so many significant, um, there, well, there's not even significant, there's just so many aspects to life. So somebody could, everybody is better at me, better than me at something. So including YouTube, including social media, including probably even marriage or uh, business, whatever. So basically everybody has something that they're good at in their life and maybe they don't even realize it, but they, maybe they're just a kind person uh, kinder than the average person or maybe they're more charitable maybe they're uh, maybe they are smarter maybe they're better at at um, something um, working on computers maybe they're a better tradesmen than somebody else so everybody has something that they're good at so why would you be overconfident or arrogant about something that you happen to be good at maybe that's not the most important thing in life in fact I would argue that if that's your focus is being the best and at anything and trying to um, prove that point all the time you probably have a lot of deficiencies in your personality and a lot of deficiencies in your life and probably um, 
that includes things like your marriage and your relationship with your family and friends and so on. So that's why I, um, I think just naturally I, I don't have um, arrogance or a big ego. I, I've had a lot of different things that I've been successful at in different aspects of my life, but I've never felt like I'm better than anybody just because of that, um, just because I'm successful at those one or two or whatever things. I, th I hope I'm making my point here without sounding arrogant myself or without uh, condes being condescending to somebody else. Um, but I, I really strongly believe that those are two of the things that uh, I know I connect with, like I said, in movies, songs, whatever, uh, other people's uh, uh, YouTube channels and uh, other social media things. I'm always connecting, I'm always feeling very emotional about the things where I see somebody helping somebody, not where I, not when I see somebody achieve, like climb that higher mountain or go on this uh, uh, difficult trip or, or something in the outdoors. That, that's great. I'm glad you, you do that and it makes you feel better, but it doesn't make you better than anybody else. Me building this cabin doesn't make me build anything or better than anybody else. This means I have more time where I've focused my energy here rather than on something else. So that's something I'm going to continue to work on for the rest of my life. It, it doesn't, um, it's not something that, it, arrogance can creep in, e ego can creep back in anytime, especially as you're having success. And I'm aware of that and I'm going to continue to make sure that that doesn't happen to me. And, and, uh, you know, and I know if I do that <clears throat> you guys are going to let me know or you're just going to stop watching, which I appreciate. I think I've ended up whittling this down too small because I've been sitting here talking, working on the same piece. Nope, it's actually going to be perfect a little bit more than I'm going up. Anyway, thanks as always for watching this video and all my videos. I really, really appreciate that. And uh, if you do want to um, see more of this kind of stuff, just keep letting me know and letting me know when I'm off base too. I appreciate that as well. Negative and positive feedback. Um, and don't forget to check out the, my other channel, My Self Reliance. I will be working on uh, more of the interior. I think I might even just do that for the next couple of weeks and let the weather start warming up as we get closer to March. Longer days too. And then tackle the the uh, sauna. Because it's, it's just getting a little frustrating going, working a couple hours there, getting weathered out and then doing something else. So anyway, if you want to see what I'm doing inside and, and then uh, back to the sauna over the coming weeks and make sure you tune into that channel as well. So that's it guys, appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you at the cabin next time. Take care.